Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start the Full Mechanics 1100 Forbidden Gundam build, my first build of 2024, and I'd really appreciate it if each and every one of you came along and watched as I build this from start to finish. We're going to start building today and the next you I will paint it and then decal it and you'll get to see how I do all of that. <clears throat> I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. I'm glad that you showed up here to uh, check out this video. And I don't know if you'll learn anything on this one or just watch me build, but I hope that maybe you'll learn something, probably uh, <clears throat> around the time I start doing the painting. So, all right, well, let's get into the build. Oh, before we do that, do me a big, huge favor. Hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you would leave a comment on this video, I would really appreciate it because it tells the algorithm that uh, I'm getting views and pushes my video up further on the list. And I would like to try and get some more subscribers soon. Thank you very much, and I will see you here in a minute as I start the build. Spay 3.0. Always make two cuts. And with your cheap one, cheaper pair, or well, they don't always have to be cheaper, but these here are the ones that I use for my first cut. They're just like an Amazon special. They work just fine. Then I clean them up with the display. In my opinion, better than God hands. Mostly because they cut exactly the same. And the price is better. Display 3.0. Move this camera just a little bit, maybe it'll focus a little better. Hopefully, that's a little better.
when I build arms or anything like that, I try and build them at the same time. I just cut all the pieces and go from there. Start building. like this goes in here. Solid snap. Same thing with the other side. And these small pieces are hard to see on the camera. Shoulder. Shows like this. And this goes in here like so. And this here goes in this piece facing this way. <laughs> this piece goes on here first, like that. Then it goes into there, like so. See how that's going to lock in? 
It's got locked in place there. All right. Now we have it right. <laughs> And there we have a shoulder. All right, let's do the same with the other side. Let's see, that's right. we have to put this piece on first. And then onto this piece here. Like that make it like that all right <laughs> and now we have two shoulders Let's put these arms together. Let's see, we need E1. Let's Hand, thumb, goes in there like that. And the back plate goes on, like so. So you have the back plate. And you have your choice between a trigger finger that's what that would look like or just the holding hand for the scythe weapon thumb moves just like on a master grade just plugs in like that we have an arm shoulder well right, let's put this other side together same way so take this piece here look for the big part there goes like that this here that so we look like this put this piece on like so it should bend like that and this piece here goes on Like this and see these two little tabs they're gonna lock down in place here make sure it bends this piece here comes up and there are the two arms and the hands with the movable thumbs Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel. It helps me grow and lets me do things like this and bring more of these to you.
<clears throat> Keep on building, everybody. We'll see you next time.